Hey, in this video, we'll show you how to animate your photos well and what to avoid, and also show you something interesting. Let's start. The first AI I will show you today is PikaLabs. To start playing with PikaLabs, you need to go to Discord, enter the searchable servers tab, and type Pika. Then you have to click on the Pika server that will be displayed. PikaLabs is currently in beta and is fully free. It is worth mentioning that using this tool we can create video from text, animate our photos and images, or use the encrypt image function which puts text in our images. But today we will deal with animation. For this, we will select the animate function, now add our image and enter our prompt. Prompt was, animation of pumpkins in Halloween decor. Our generated animated photo will appear in the upper right corner, right here. Attention, now you will see what will happen to this image the fact that my prompt was not accurate. Can someone explain to me what happened here? Is it a Halloween pumpkin ghost? Don't know, I'll show you another fail where the prompt sounded. Add life to my picture, so please don't do that. This animation is a little strange, so now I will show you how to do it right. Pay attention to the simplicity of these prompts. When using different AI tools, it is worth experimenting, but often it is simplicity that is the key to success. If you are lacking ideas at the moment, it is worth reviewing the work of other users, and maybe something will inspire you. Now we'll use one of my latest images. I'll show you how cool it can give them life. I'll also show you curiosity, which is also strange, but sometimes has surprising effects. So always repeat, experiment, and you'll be surprised more than once by the positive effect. Remember that not always everything works out the first time. AI are developing very dynamically and are getting better every day but they are not yet perfect. The prompts I use now are precise, explaining exactly what we require from the AI, so that the effect will also be satisfactory. In a moment, I will show you an animation, and I wonder if you can guess what prompt was used. Do you know what prompts were used to create these animations? One, two, three, the answer is none. I didn't use any prompt AI had to improvise. In the case of the first animation, it looks bad. In the case of the second, it looks quite okay, but see how to do it right. Now, as you will see, the effect in my opinion is very good. What do you think? I know it's not quantum engineering or even a level of complexity like a pizza recipe, but simple is often the key to success. You'll surely see that more than once. In addition, here we create a few seconds video from images. It's hard to fit a lot of information here. That animation of the hair waving in the wind and the facial expressions of the eye in slow motion should get an Oscar? Of course I'm kidding. We will now fly over to the second tool as you probably guessed, or saw in the title or description. Now it's time to snare. Runway. <laughs> to start using this tool, we need to go to the Runway website and create a trial account. It is worth noting that Runway is not free, and we get 60 Seki video to generate. If you like it but still want to test this AI, you can create a new Google account unless you have another, and also join as a trial. Runway is a powerful tool, is developing nicely, and we will see how it will look in the future. Although my favorite is PikaLabs, certainly a strong argument is that it is free, so we can play with it for a very long time. I will now show you the pictures you saw earlier, to see the differences in animation. Interesting will be the subject of those pumpkins with which something strange happened. When we were at Pika Labs, here Runway positively surprised me. Anyway, you will see, the effect is wow. In the previous photo, we did not use the prompt and the effect was quite okay. In the second photo, there is already the prompt we used before. I like the zoom and the hair animation, although there are artifacts in the eyes of the model and Runway forgot to add the blink animation. The same goes for this anime picture. The animation is nice, the hair ripples a lot, but there are artifacts which I personally do not like, but you can try and you can certainly get a satisfactory effect. Now look at these spooky pumpkins. We didn't use any prompt, but I like the effect very much. It is very dark and interesting. And you, how do you rate both tools? Which in your opinion is better, Pika or Runway? It's worth testing both and judging for yourself. Both have great potential and can give a ton of fun. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, leave a like and a sub. If you have any comments or questions, leave a comment, I will be happy to answer. Bye bye.